Hey bestie, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome friend. I'm Tiger Soul Tarot, back with another pick a card. I have been away or I didn't post the previous week because I've been a little busy, run down, and then I had allergies slash I don't know if I was getting sick or what was going on, but anyways, we are back into it and I've missed you guys. So in today's pick a card reading, we are asking spirit who is stalking your social media and why who's keeping tabs on you online and i feel like this is a really good question because you know sometimes people can be pulling on your energy and you don't even know it so it's good for your own knowledge and protection and if you're coming across this reading i feel like i have to say this this is so random maybe some of you out there have been experiencing like you keep thinking of a person out of the blue or seeing them everywhere maybe that is a sign for you maybe this is this person has been keeping tabs on you or they're very in your energy field and you don't know why then let's find out okay I hope that made sense um we're gonna jump straight in now to the pile selection so as always left to right we have pile one with the fire agate pile two with the fluorite and pile three will be the tiger's eye crystal I'll give you a quick moment just to pause this video, meditate on the pile you feel the most called to, and I will see you in your reading. Hey, pile one, welcome to your reading. If you've chosen this fire agate crystal, this will be your pile. Who's stalking your social media and why? We're going to start by laying out these pre-shuffled oracles one is just a random kind of spirit speaks deck that i've made i use it a few times on the channel already we have zebra we have butterfly we have admirable you are always enough i'm just going to read these out and then tell you what i'm seeing we have frigid hiding feelings okay this could be somebody who's very shy nervous or inexperienced somebody who has been hiding feelings from you I feel like this person is watching you and they feel like you have changed or had a glow up in some type of way and they are watching your social media and the way that you've evolved this person liked you before you even had this glow up they feel like you were always enough in their eyes and they also, I feel like, miss the version of you that they once knew. They feel like you and them have always connected based on something that makes you very unique, like a unique way of understanding one another with the zebra card, like how zebra stripes are all different. I feel like maybe you, both of you had a weird side that really came out when you were around one another. Okay, this person likes your inner weirdo is the message I'm getting. We have a be compassionate and we have always right. We have messy, I don't want to hurt you. Maybe this is a situation that was messy. Again, changing. Things have changed between the two of you. Things are not always as it seems. You make this person nervous okay they need reassurance they aren't sure where they stand with you as well we have venus and revelations okay so venus someone could be a libra or a taurus or you and this person could have compatible venus signs like your venus could be their mars or their sun or their moon we have deep and exotic energy okay so this person that is watching your social media i feel like this person has deeper feelings than they let on they feel like there's something very unique exotic one of a kind about you and their mind is stuck on you this person is watching your social media because they admire you they find you to be Again, just one of a kind. This person, I could even say, has love for you or they are attracted to you at the very least with Venus coming out. But they feel like there is an energy of messiness between the two of you. They feel like 
things are not as clear or straightforward when it comes to them approaching you or again they don't know where they stand with you we have broken i feel shattered about this situation so this person may be watching your social media because they're heartbroken or they're missing you as well i'm also getting Let's find out some more information with the tarot. For group one, please. Who is watching group one's social media? Who's stalking them online and why? This person's interested in your friendship circles as well. They could feel like you're always doing something or your life seems to be quite like you're a social butterfly or something like that as well. <coughs> So sorry, you guys, if you missed the intro, I said that I didn't post last week because I've been a little busy and run down getting over some type of like sick, sickness, cold, flu, or I did think it was allergies, but anyway, if you hear me coughing or sniffling, that's why. <laughs> sorry, group one. Who's stalking group one social media? We have the Nine of Wands. We have the Ace of Wands. Somebody who sees you as a temptation. <sighs> okay, but that maybe there's also a feistiness to you. There's a tension between you and this person. You could be a little standoffish towards them or they appear that way to you and it's because they low-key they're attracted to you with the ace of wands sorry but they are <laughs> okay with six of swords queen of pentacles who's stalking you okay again i feel like it's not so easy to approach you that there's someone stalking you because maybe they don't know how to approach you what to say but they want to okay with the six of swords this person is timid or nervous or intimidated by you the six of swords is an energy of transitioning moving towards calmer waters but this cat has been through it and it's too scared now to even get out of the cage like this person could feel backed into a corner like they have no option now but to watch you. This could be an earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Let's just clarify. Six of Cups. This is somebody who wants to make their way back into your life. Someone from your past who wants to talk to you. Maybe this what this is a friend. This is someone who wants to re-spark something. This could be a friend or a past lover with the Three of Swords. Somebody who, again, feels broken or shattered by a falling out here. Ten of Wands. It's really frustrating to this person that they're out in the cold from you because they see you doing really well for yourself. This person feels like they drop the bag almost with you with the five of pentacles clarifying the queen of pentacles. Like they feel like they either aren't or weren't enough. They don't deserve you. They don't deserve to be in your energy even. Maybe you have really high standards or this person just feels like you are like out of their league or again you've blown up in some way with the queen of pentacles here they feel like you're very abundant you seem to be doing really well flourishing thriving even but this person the queen of one the queen of pentacles is somebody who's also very down to earth and i think they see that in you as well This person feels very burdened by the responsibility here, wondering what to do with the Ten of Wands. Like, 
it's a burden that they have to bear. It's like this person feels like they made their bed, now they have to lay in it. Why? Let's find out now why are they watching your social media. And then we're going to get charms and initials. Why are they watching group one social media? We have the three of wands. The high priestess. Because they feel like your energy is really protected. They want to know what's up with you. They want to witness your growth. They want to know what, what your plans are, but your energy is mysterious to them. They want to check up on you. That's why they're stalking you online is they want to feel at least somewhat still involved in your life, in your energy by checking up on you. But I feel like there's restrictions because the three of wands do come out in reverse. Like it's not so easy for them to look at your social media. Maybe you have your account on private or something like that. And they feel haunted even with this high priestess. Like they can't forget about you. This person sees a future or they thought that you would be in their life for a long time. Like again, they like they really feel like you're very high value with this ten of pentacles. Why they're checking your social media is they feel like you're just blessed you're literally just blessed they feel like you're really growing this could be like a family member that won't be for everybody maybe they're checking up on you through a family member for some of you their family may ask about you to this person the chariot and the star they feel like you don't even pay them any mind that you are, have moved on already that you're on to bigger better things even if that's not the case this is just their perspective it's like they're yeah like they're watching you and checking up as like it, it hurts them to see this as well like it's like they can't help it it's like they're punishing themselves in a way as well anything else about who's Who's stalking group one on social media? Anything else? Page of Wands, Lovers and King of Cups, which was in reverse. Okay, so this person could have been kind of moody or emotionally manipulative. Like they really kept uh, kept their feelings under wraps, especially because we had hidden feelings here, like, and the king of cups was in reverse like he's reluctant to show how he's feeling i feel like this person keeps it very hidden and low, low key the way that they're checking up on your social media like they don't want you to know that they're looking um they may also look at your photos and please themselves okay this is not 18 plus but we do have the page of wands and i've heard other readers say the same that that can talk about like flings and very flirty sexual energy and encounters very quick um spicy thoughts and energy like hookups and things like that so this is someone that you could have hooked up with or been in a relationship even with the lovers maybe you're in a relationship And this person is watching you be in a relationship and there's like a stalemate. Or this person may want to be in a relationship with you. Yeah. Like I feel like they low-key want to be 
be your man, your woman. But they're stuck. They feel like they can't create or manifest this. They don't know what to do to even take the steps towards you. This is why they could be checking up on your social media as well to know like when to reach out or should they reach out. <clears throat> okay, so let's clear this out of the way and get some charms and initials. If this reading did resonate as well, don't forget to like the video, comment down below as well. It helps me so much. Okay, so we have Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, we have Aries, we have S. Oh, and I'm hearing Doja Cat say so. Didn't even notice. You got to keep me focused. Why don't you say so? So that song or lyrics may be relevant to somebody's situation. We have Q. Q again. We have V, D. We have A, bad, so bad. This person is down bad. And they also feel like you're a baddie. We have D, T. We have X. So this could be yours or theirs, first, middle, last name, initials. We have K. We have Z, H, B. Someone could have had a birthday recently. Happy birthday. This person could have said happy birthday to you or they were thinking about it. We have W, E. We have U. C, T, we have 6 or 9, we have 0, 3, we have, I'm also hearing 3, 6, 9, and we have 2, so someone could be 23, 29, 30, 32, 39, or their birthday could be on the 3rd or 9th or 20. You know, take the letters and numbers and just rearrange it, okay? Take what resonates. It is a general reading, so not everything may apply. But, yeah, I'm going to leave the reading here now, Group 1. Thank you so much for watching and for supporting the channel. And subscribe if you're not already. Join the Soul Tribe. And I hope to see you in another reading, Group 1. Bye. Then this green fluorite chunk, this is your pile. Who is stalking your social media and why? We're going to start with your pre-shuffled oracle. So we have the octopus. We have dragon. Interesting. I feel like I haven't seen that card in a while. In a hot minute. <clears throat> we have I feel, uh, I feel protective over you and yearning on the back. So this is someone who could be yearning for you. We have, I search for you everywhere. Sparkly. Someone has sparkly eyes I'm hearing, especially with that dragon card. Or their eyes light up when they see you, okay? This person has been looking for you. Wherever they're going, they're looking for you, hoping to bump into you, things like that. We have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, so they may be an air sign. We have poetic on the back. They could be really good with their words as well or like the way they either write or the way they speak when it comes to articulating their feelings. They could be really good at either writing, the, writing or speaking. We have reciprocated energy, good or bad. So this is someone who you and this person, you match each other's energy. When they give it to you, you give it back. Awkward. <laughs> what was that laugh? That was so... Okay, I'm actually channeling the energy right now, okay? <laughs> this person and you may get really awkward and giddy around one another, okay? We have comfortable... I want to be the one. 
So this person wants to feel comfortable around you, with you. They want to be the one. Now we have Leo, open-minded. There's someone here is very open-minded. Someone could have Leo, sun, moon, rising. We have abundant spirit guides be snitching. Absolutely. We have cunning. I love your style and the way you express yourself. So this person loves the way that you dress, the way you look, your energy, your presence, the way that you adorn yourself. Um, they could love your rising sign. Whatever your rising sign is, it could be very compatible with one of their placements and they love the way that you appear, the way you come across. We have used your discernment and mistreated. This is somebody who mistreated you in the past. We have self-assured and runner. Okay, so this person could be very self-assured. They could have ran from a connection with you. They could be a runner. They could have been a running, chasing dynamic here between the two of you. They're stalking your social media pile too. Okay, why are they stalking your social media? We have I'm still trying to heal and self-love. It's healing for them to see you. Okay, they like to stalk your social media because their heart yearns for it. And that's why I feel like they're stalking you. But let's find out more with the tarot. Actually, I didn't even describe this energy of the octopus and the dragon. So this is someone who feels like there is something more than meets the eye with you with the dragon card coming up like they get a gut feeling about you they could even feel a spiritual connection to you they feel like you're mystical and like when they how that has said they're trying to run into you or they're trying to look for you search for you everywhere it feels like you're very rare hard to find one of a kind okay Seeing one's most true self and balancing the ego, the dragon sees everything. Its essence has been with us since before our first, first breast. <laughs> breast. Wow, okay. And we'll be there at our last breath. I'm just going to read little parts, okay. It is almost as if we are traveling with a great friend inside of ourselves. When we look in the mirror, deep into our eyes, we may even see the glimpse, glimpse the self behind the self. So it feels like this person sees himself in you as well. They could feel like there is mirroring that goes on between the two of you. They feel like, again, that soul eye, eye contact connection. In a fire. The dragon stirs this person's inner fire. Okay, it's solar plexus energy, that gut feeling, like I said. And then with octopus, who is stalking your social media, yearning again. Are you joking? Reaching yearning, lacking boundaries. Where is yearning? So where we saw yearning. Okay, that's really weird. There. Okay, yearning. <laughs> yearning. So they don't want you to know that they're yearning. They're trying to hide that they're yearning, I feel like. Okay. The octopus is someone with a very perceptive mind. This person is someone that has well-intended but can have messy relationships. The octopus intertwines itself into other people's business and shares their own without restraint. This person's spying on you because they want to be up in your business, full stop, period. They're just involving themselves in, their li in your life. So if you have been feeling really drained or uneasy when you think about this person, it may be that there are you need better energetic boundaries between you and them. This person could be a little clingy even, or they were. They want to talk, to bring into balance talk therapy, but they're lacking courage, it feels like. 
that's what this dragon energy is supposed to be doing for this person is to help them follow that gut feeling and give them the courage when you follow that fire in your belly so <clears throat> if this is sounding and resonating then this is definitely your pile let's jump into the tarot now I did forget to mention we also have water energy with the octopus so that's cancer pisces scorpio okay five of wands who's stalking group two social media five of swords death five five Knight of Cups. Eight of Pentacles. Seven of Cups. This person is definitely daydreaming or wishful thinking of you more than you know, group two. More than you know. They actually get mood swings. Their mood is affected, okay? by the thought of you like you have the ability to put them in a mood when they see something on your social media that they don't like and we have the king of swords bottom of the deck is the ten of cups this person has so much love for you they have a soft spot for you with this ten of cups here like they hold they hold you near and dear in their heart they find you to be very precious to them they really cherish you're very healing right with this energy but this is someone that you may have had the conflict with with the five of wands five of swords an argument nasty words could have been said even this person could have said some things that they are now regretting um this person is watching your social media because they have a crush on you <laughs> with the knight of cups this is someone that you could have had an ending with a falling out again with death they feel like they didn't step up or they weren't responsible in the way they treated and approached you but this person's very concerned about you they're very protective over you they want to know what you're doing how you're doing their life has never been the same since meeting you with this death energy like they they get stuck in just daydream thoughts just peering out spacing out and thinking about you and also getting nostalgic it feels like they could appear very stoic this could be someone who's very difficult to read people around them may not necessarily know that they ha they even feel this way or have these thoughts but that's where their mind goes and when this person is stalking your social media i really wouldn't put it past them if this this is the type of person to make a fake account and just to start stuff and troll you with the five of swords and seven of cups like creating illusions or fake accounts and watching you like that like they would put in the extra effort here just to stir the pot <laughs> wow okay so why why would they stir the pot why are we getting that queen of wands four of wands because they want to mark their territory in your life what the hell like why would they stir the pot because this person feels like Queen of Wands and Four of Wands. It's just so interesting that the Queen of Wands is like leaning against the tree like that as well in the imagery. Maybe this person feels like you attract a lot of attention and so that's why they would want, like they would make a fake account and like even like testing your loyalty. making sure that, that you're on the same page. This person may even be jealous of someone or something in your life right now, currently. 
this like there could be multiple there's multiple energies stalking your social media that's why there's actually multiple energies like these are all different little chords now that i'm seeing like different little chords of people trying to tug on your energy so this could be people from your past with death people that you've had endings with checking up on your social media this could be people who have beef with you this also is people who just have crushes stalking your social media this could be people that you work with or went to school with as well who stalk your social media okay why are they stalking your social media four of pentacles people find you hard to let go of like there's something about your energy that really lingers. People feel possessive over you. Queen of Wands. The Empress, wow. You're very attractive, very easy on the eye. This is why people like to, come on, stalk your social media as well. We have Taurus Libra. We have Leo Aries Sagittarius. This is the second time we have Queen of Wands. So I feel like... Someone is definitely stalking you because of the fact that you're very magnetic, um, very attractive. They're very attractive to you. Death again. And the sun. People are, are very interested in how you're doing when after you've left their life. And it feels like you're just, you're a very powerful, impactful force in people's life who know you and have met you because there's, this is all major arcana. The Empress, Death and the Sun, like you're a very bright force. People are very attracted to you. You have a lot of energy, a big aura. You attract attention naturally. So this is why people are wanting to look you up online maybe you have very aesthetic photos or you appear very visually just as aesthetic the way that you dress and express yourself didn't we have that in here so people could look you up because they love your style especially if you're like a style blogger or something like that people like to stalk you because of that yeah i love the your style and the way that you express yourself so your social media could be very aesthetic to look at as well props to you you could have like a theme going or something about your social media that makes people want to look at you people love your smile as well they love to see you doing well okay so let's clear this out of the way now and i'm going to actually pull some little charms and initials if this reading has resonated so far and you enjoyed the reading don't forget to like the video it helps me so much so who is stalking group two we have a b f best friend boyfriend your best friend or boyfriend is stalking your social media could also be a girlfriend we have r q l d w someone who lives at a distance maybe stalking you checking out we have n s M. Oh, I also see Queensland and New South Wales. So if you're Australian, those states may be significant. We have E, G, G, good game. Someone could be a gamer or a football, football game. They could enjoy football. We have K. <clears throat> N S O C P B 
cob. Someone may go to the pub or have a pub that they go to often. Like, and they either look at you on social media there or they hope to run into you there. We have I. We have four. We have eight. Two, four, six, eight. No, that's a nine. That's a six. Nine. Ninety-nine, sixty-nine, or sixty-six. We have XO. Some of you, this could be your X. We have Virgo, Pisces, Sagittarius. And we have five. So four, five, six. Somebody could be 24, 25, 26, 29, or 52, 54. Just take the numbers, okay, 28. Or it could be a birthday or month, any of those combinations, and obviously somebody's initials. But take what resonates, don't let the rest take from you. It is a general reading, so not everything may apply. And I'm going to end your reading here now, group two. Thank you so much for watching. And consider subscribing if you're not already. Join the Soul Tribe so that I can see you in another reading. Bye. Hey, Group 3. Welcome to your reading. If you've chosen this Tiger's Eye Crystal, this is your pile. Who's stalking your social media <clears throat> and why? So we have Elephant, which is fire energy in this deck. Leo Aries Sagittarius. We have the Hawk which is air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Someone who hasn't forgotten you, someone who you have memories with. We have, I've talked to you, I've talked about you to friends and angelic. Wow, okay, so this person sees you as an angel. We have magnetic attraction and alluring. We have tasteful and tasty. We have trolling you. So this person could be a troll. They could have a fake account. We have moving in silence. As I just said that, they definitely have a fake account. Goodbye, period. Mind-blowing. All right, so this is someone who is moving in silence. You may not even speak to this person, but they are stalking your social media. Transparent. They're not being transparent. Try me. They would, though. If you ask them, I feel like they would admit it. We have Pisces and water signs, so Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. I want to tell you why I am the way I am. Cheeky on the back. So they feel like they owe you an explanation. We have in debt to you. I'm angry with you. Like they owe you an explanation or an apology, but they're angry. I'm not going to do it. I was just thinking about it focusing on you so this person has been thinking about messaging you I feel like this is why they check up on your social media because they are thinking about messaging you they're very focused on you they've been thinking about you that's why they're stalking you and we have that hurt and freckles someone who's been hurt by you I feel like is definitely stalking you and this person could have freckles you brighten my day in January so someone's birthday could be in January or that may be a significant month for you. But, yeah, you do brighten this person's day. We have neglected. I failed to give you what you need. So this is someone who feels like they neglected you. They didn't pay you attention when they should have. I do want to read what the hawk card says and the elephant, actually. Elephant, it is said that the great elephant is the destroyer of obstacles. So if this card appears when you feel stuck, rest assured that the path will soon become clear. I feel like that's a message for someone. To add to the mystery, the elephant is also known to create obstacles in order to steer us in the right direction. This person who stalks you is mysterious. 
or when in balance one pointed focused focusing on you generous and loving when out of balance misunderstands fate to bring into balance trust so this person's very focused on you like to the point where it's a borderline obsession like it's unstoppable at this point like they can't stop themselves from not looking at you watchful like they're watching you <coughs> <coughs> sorry group three if you missed the intro i did say that i've not been well so if i cough or i'm sniffling that is why okay this keen-eyed bird has the ability to see every little detail as well as the bigger picture when this card appears fate has its eyes on you and the wind are, the winds are shifting it is said that the hawk carries news upon its wing and is, in, and is sent from divinity itself to deliver it. I feel like this person is getting downloads to message you, like they have something to tell you and it's actually kind of like their spirit guides are pushing them to want to talk to you but they're not doing it, they're just thinking about it. But it feels like they have something that they want to tell you but they're neglecting doing anything about it. And this person also has a very close eye on you. Like they don't just watch one platform of yours. They watch many platforms of your social media if you have that. Okay. So who is stalking group three and why? Okay, we have the Empress, the Emperor. The Emperor and the Empress are the first two cards to come out. Are you serious? Are you serious? Okay, Divine Counterpart Energy. The Magician. What? What? This person feels like you're fated. You're fated. Okay, they may be manifesting for fate to bring you back together. They may be manifesting you and stalking you to help with their manifestations. We have the Queen of Swords. It's just a matter of time with the Two of Wands here. That's what they are thinking. Like, they're strategizing, their plan. Like, they have their eyes on you. Like, this is low-key, like, prey. They're preying on you, even. How this Two of Wands is, it's going after its prey. And the Queen of Swords is very calculated. On the Okay, so this person is calculating their next steps. Or what's next for this connection? Clarify the Empress, please. The Lovers. Because they see you as wifey. What? Okay, this could be someone that you're married to. They're stalking your social media. <clears throat> they may be feeling neglected. They, they could be feeling like the love is neglected. Or they don't want you to ever feel that way. Two of Cups. What? This person is in love with you. Whoever's stalking your social media, they're actually obsessed and in love with you. The love is the Two of Cups. The lovers and the two cups. This person sees you as the one. You are this person's soulmate. Period. They know that. The chariot. This person wants to marry you. This person wants to go the long distance. This person wants to... They see a future with you. Okay? And they're planning a future with you. They know what they want. And they're going after it. Okay? So... If you're not in a relationship and you're watching this and you're confused, this could be someone that has is in love with you and you're at a stalemate with. King of Cups. Like they're not opening their cup. They're hopelessly 
in love with you. Okay, star on the bottom, like you are their wish fulfillment. You are the one. So this person is wanting to manifest to create movement here in to move and overcome any challenges that has been in this connection. This person wants to take a risk on you as well. They could be feeling stuck in their head on how to approach you. They don't want to start a, a fight or they don't want an argument. When they look at your social media, I feel like they take in every little detail. Like who's liking your photos? What's in the background? What are you wearing this day? Um, things like that. Like, oh, group three looks great in the colour purple. They should wear purple more. We have the five of pentacles. Why are they stalking group three's social media? Ten of pentacles, death. Four of Swords, Two of Pentacles. So if this is someone you're in a long-term connection with and you've had a fight or you're feeling out in the cold or you're worried that things are over, they feel like they have not prioritised you. Like this is someone that you could be on pause, rest, taking a break from things and they're stalking your social media because they feel like that's all they can give right now okay they feel disconnected they feel like left out of your life okay you could have like familial ties with family friends with this person they may ask about you through mutual friends but they stalk your social media because they think of you in their downtime and they love you so if you're not with this person, that's devastating to this person, okay? They don't want things to be like that. They want to create change. They want to prioritise one another. They want to meet up. They want to celebrate. They want to be part of your life. Yeah, the lovers. They love you. They want to move forward. Okay, they could watch your social media and fantasize about you. Naughty, spicy things as well. Um, again, they could be manifesting you. Ten of Cups and Seven of Wands. They didn't fight for this connection, but they want to, or they wish they did fight for this connection. They're also wondering, would you? Would you? Now let's clear this out of the way. I'm going to get your charms, initials, zodiacs now. Very interesting. I wasn't expecting that, to be honest. Who's stalking group three social media? And if this reading has resonated group three, don't forget to like the video as well. It helps me so much. <clears throat> We have D, we have F, Divine Feminine, we have K, T, Katie or Kate, we have B, B, Baby, Babe, we have R, this could be yours or theirs, first, middle, last name, initials. P, U, N. This person could be punny. They could like puns. We have L, Z, I. We have Liz. R again. C, J, getting Jackson. 
Robert Z D H M E Q L and we have Aries Leo Capricorn Pisces Taurus we have X so someone's X may be stalking them we have six seven eight zero this could be someone's birthday or month or anniversary or any of those letters and numbers combined it could mean something to you but if it doesn't don't stress this is a general reading so not everything may apply to you always use your discernment so I'm going to finish the reading here now group three thank you so much for watching this far for hanging out with me and consider subscribing if you're not already join the soul tribe I would love to have you here and I'll see you in another reading hopefully group three bye